Welcome back, everybody. This is the third episode of uh, the Maze Game Tutorial. Uh, so far, last episode, I or we made a new end screen. When we do touch the red, we have a consequence. Of course, now it's not working because I did turn it off. There we go. I was just testing out the background to make it a little bit cleaner around the edges. I found that this turn right here was a little too hard for the first level. And speaking of level, that's what this uh, episode's about. We're going to be, let me just stop this real quick. We're going to be creating a new level and a transition and a way to transition from level one to level two or level three or whatever. So let's just get right into it. So in the last episode, we introduced this oops, or in some cases, to try again. Um, and that's only if you touch the red. But if you see, sometimes, or actually, since I didn't press the green, it, uh, it says, oops, it works, um, but the player does assume to just go through the maze, just pretty easily maneuver around, okay? So they're at the end, there's nothing, nothing happens. So what are we supposed to do at this point? We're done with the game, and maybe you want to take it a little bit farther. So here, we're going to implement a new sprite. So we're going to do paint. We're going to implement a new sprite, and we're going to call it transition piece. Transition piece. Okay, so we have transition piece. And we want to create a custom block. And we want to make it a color that can be easily differentiated. So we should just make a random color. Maybe Let's make it a weird orange. Or let's make it a purple. Because purple is not a very appealing color for the background. So I don't really plan to be making a background made of purple. The reason why I don't want it to be the same color as the background is the way we differentiate the player in the background. So the way we tell if the player is touching the, the, the red zone is by color. And we want to have a specific color boundary. So we want it to be green and something that's like the opposite of green. So that could be purple or that could be orange, something like that. But we want this, sorry for my, sorry. Um, let's resume. So we want this piece right here to have a different color than the background and the character. And since I plan to have changing backgrounds, I'm just going to have purple because I don't change. I don't want to change this color of the background to purple. But when we do change levels, I want to differenti differentiate the levels by changing the background. So I'm just going to make this little square, the transition piece. I'm going to make it a square. I'm just going to make it. I'm not going to hold shift, actually. I'm just going to make it a little rectangle. OK, I think that's good enough. And now we're going to go to transition. And we're going to do our setup. So we go to when I receive. 
So broadcasting, of course, go set up. Then we're going to set it up for level one by going to, let's put it at the end, right there. So that's 180, negative 160. So 180, negative 160. That's good. Now, if we go like this, it won't move. It'll just always teleport. So now we can go through the maze. Oops. Try to go through the maze, maneuver. Squeeze through there. We made it to the end. But wait, it's not doing anything. Well, that's what we're doing now. So we're going to have another event. And we're going to do when I receive start game. So now we have this and we're going to go. Oops, no. Going down to control. And we're going to do if. And remember, we're going to do if touching. So we're going to have to have a forever block. So we're going to do. Sensing, if touching color, and since the outline of the character is black, we're instead of doing green, we're going to do black. So if touching, in fact, we can just go like this. Let's get it real close. If touching that color. We can well, we're not going to say you won because this is supposed to be the next level. So we're going to do we're going to do another text, but this time we're gonna create a new sprite. Oops, no. not one of Scratch's sprites, we want to create our own text. So let's hover over here, press this, and we're going to name this level two. Or let's do transition text, because this could be more than level two. Let's go and let's put the code. Let's put text. And let's do, for this costume, let's do level two transition. And then we can edit the text, put it down. Let's change the font to the font that we've been using for oops. Let's put it to pixel. It's my favorite font because it just looks like a retro game. We're going to do level two. I don't want it to be purple. Let's make it black. Color zero. So it's a little small. Let's make this a little bigger. And now what we're going to do is actually rename this to just two. And then we're going to duplicate, 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 basically duplicate nine times. So, or eight times. So that's seven, duplicate, eight, Duplicate. So that's number nine. And what we're going to do is change this to actually should be eight because we already have level one. 
So what we're going to do is change all of this to level two, level three, level four, and so on. I'll be right back when I've done that. All right, guys, so I'm back. And what I did was I changed every single thing to level one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can see I, I changed it. And I also changed the costume name to the corresponding level. So for level one, I did one. Level two, I did two. Basically, I named it. I named the costume after the level number. And this is very important, so make sure you do this. So now you should also do the setup for this and just go to code. And you can set this up by going to events and then do when I receive setup. Actually, no, it should be start game. When I receive start game, it should be in the looks. Let's hide. Okay, so now starts game and it hides. And it should also, if you go up, you should go to switch costume. Switch it to one. So now if we go like this, and for a second we show it, it should be level one. So now we just have to do this. Okay, so when I receive start game, if it's touching the black, then it should broadcast a message. Actually, it should, let's delete this real quick. Let's make a new variable and let's do level. And just in case for all sprites. And let's show the level for now. And we can do change level by one. And also we can broadcast a message. called, we should broadcast a new message that says level two. So now this doesn't do anything, but now if we do the maze, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just go through the maze. not touching the red. And see, that's a problem. So what's happening is it's touching the black, but it's also, it's touching the black, but it only touches the black for a split second. So let's, let's instead of doing the black, we should just Sample this green right here. Then maybe should work. I'll just bring you back when I get to the end. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm at the end. Let's see. Pay attention to the level. See, when I touch it, it does change the level by one, but it continuously changes. Uh, make sure you guys do this thing right here. Um, but other than that, this video has gotten kind of long, and I really wanna. I don't really wanna post a 30-minute video because uh, it's not as entertaining and easy to follow. So yeah, I'm just gonna end the video here and look out for the second half of this video um, later today. Bye.